Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. I, I'm gonna let you know right off the bat, this video is not one of the positive ones. I know some of you, you like the positives. Some of you, you get irritated at the negative videos and stuff about all the doom and gloom. And, and this one, it's it's not it's not good. Um, I, I wanna cover more about this illegal problem. I I believe, and this is based on not just the news, not just what's being shown on social media, but also the information that's coming from you folks to me, which I know is is a small sampling. But still, I think personally that the, the problem with all the tens of millions of illegals that's poured across this border into this nation, it's finally coming to a head. Um, it's definitely been building, there's been problems, countless problems can be recorded over the last few years in cities, violent crimes, drug trafficking, all of these kinds of things have been going on. But I, I believe it's finally hitting a pinnacle point. Now, is this just because of the natural progression of things or is there some force behind it pushing this because, well, the election is in less than 60 days? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But I'm telling you that things are heating up and it's not just in the big obvious cities. It's everywhere. Uh, there's a video clip here. I'm not going to play it. It's long and everything. You can go watch it. it it's 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 on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's at a, a city council me meeting in Alabama in, in just kind of a little town in Alabama, you know, regular size, regular town in Alabama. And the people there are concerned because they've had a bunch of illegals poured into their city. They're they're pouring it in and they're all the problems related with that. And so the city council's gone to the the council the citizens have gone to the city council to to raise their complaints and the city council says, "Oh, you're just being racist. You're being racist because of their color of their skin. There's nothing we can do about it." And they actually shut down the city council meeting. They just abruptly stop it. Um, here's a post here. And of course, I know I can't really truly verify this, but it makes sense. Uh, Ohio has been hit really hard by a lot of the illegals. In fact, one little town with about 60,000 people in it over the last couple of years has had anywhere between 15 and 20,000 uh, illegals bust into that city. So 20,000, a third, a third of the population increased in illegals most of them from haiti uh this is a post from some type of little like a facebook group or whatever in that town and it's just someone warning everyone to keep your dogs and cats locked up because they've shown up missing in their neighborhoods and they come home and their cat's gone they come home and their dog's gone they have a kennel in the backyard and it's empty and they saw one of the haitian illegals actually cooking, butchering and cooking their 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 house cat uh, out front. And so what's happening is, as you've probably seen in videos across Europe and stuff, uh, the people from the third world coming here, they don't quite understand how things go. And so they're capturing, um, capturing pets and they're eating them, cooking them in their front yard, barbecuing them. Uh, there's also been... Um, uh, recorded incidences where, you know, in city parks where they may have swans or ducks or something like that in the city park that these illegals are capturing them and they're eating them. It's like it's 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 free food, you know, free game. Um, that's happening. Ohio, uh, <clears throat> the story in Alabama, the story in Aurora, Colorado keeps getting more and more interesting. Uh, they've gone in and they have arrested some people at these apartment complex, but they're finding out that it's actually happening in multiple apartment complexes. And so far, it was actually released yesterday or the day before in the news that uh, the people that have been arrested that are confirmed gang members, illegal from Venezuela, uh, they've been released on a thousand dollar bond, thousand dollar bond. I mean, that's hardly any more than you would get arrested for if you were driving on a suspended license or something. I mean, that's barely a slap on the wrist. And these folks, 
they're more than capable of paying a thousand dollar bond. I mean, they're 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 here illegally as part of gangs, running drugs, doing crimes, things like that. So I'm pretty sure a thousand dollars is nothing for them. There's also more stories coming out of places like Chicago. Uh, where they're doing the same thing there. There's uh, gangs of illegals trying to take over uh, uh, apartment complexes. They're notifying the, the owners of the apartments that, you know, listen, you can split the profits with us uh, or else. They're making threats. The, there, there are stories coming out from all over the country, actually. Even here in my state of Missouri, uh, one of the electric companies has hired a, a subcontractor to come in and, you know, where there's power lines, they'll come in and make sure that all the limbs are cleared and weeds and stuff underneath the power lines. It, it is part of the the right-of-way that, that utility companies have, but they've hired very possibly illegals. I can't confirm that they're illegals, but they are non-English speaking people. Um, and a lot of people are concerned with that. And speaking of jobs, uh, some job numbers came out this week. You know, the Biden administration has been really promoting how many how many jobs that they've created. Now, we know that the vast majority of those jobs were were people who were made to stay home during the pandemic and then allowed to go back to work. And so it was this big increase. But he says that they've created even more new jobs. Well, here's some job numbers that came out. Just in the month of August, just in the month of August, a little over 600,000 new jobs were fulfilled by immigrants. These are, are migrant workers, 600 plus thousand jobs were filled by migrant workers. But if you look at the data, 1.2 million, 1.3 million jobs from native born citizens were lost. And if you go back over the last several months, even the last few years, you see a growing trend of where jobs that Americans have are being replaced by illegals. Uh, just like the video I showed you the other day of Chuck Schumer, how they want to replace, well, the voting people with all these illegals. They want to give them uh, rights and a very clear, quick path to citizenship. This... This is exploding, folks, and it's happening. It, it's happening everywhere. Uh, it's it's not just in the coastal cities. It's not just in the obvious ones. There was another video, I believe it was last night, that was posted from down at the border. You've probably seen these. They, you get a lot of them where there's just a, a a long line of illegals walking into the country, and there's someone there asking them where they're from and where they're going. And the, there's you can tell that there's hundreds of people. Out of the whole group, the only ones that I saw were from India and from Africa. India and Africa, and they were listing all these different places that they're going. Some of them didn't speak enough English to respond or refuse to, um, but they were going all over the country. And they're, they, they, the, that particular video was clear. They were not just Latin American people coming to America. They were from India and from Africa. And we're, we're getting more and more of this all over the world coming here. Nearly every country that, especially that is any kind of third world, is coming to America in, in droves. And when you speak of it now, you're called a racist and a bigot and all sorts of things, which is part of the plan. They don't want you to speak openly of this. They, they, it's, it's part of this kind of cultural genocide to make you out to be such a bad person that now people want to do physical harm to you and shut you up and put you away. And, and it's happening right before our eyes. Yes, voting can potentially, possibly help, but we have to realize that that that's not the answer, and it's certainly not the only answer. And it's not an answer that you can just blindly put your faith in. Because regardless of who it is, you look throughout history, voting solves very few problems. It, it just does. It just solves hardly anything. And so I'm not telling you not to vote. I'm certainly not telling you not to vote for Donald Trump. I'm telling you to stop just believing that, well, come November... Everything's going to change. Come next January, all these problems are going to be solved. It's possible, but I think it's very unlikely. 
Are you and I going to be able to go down to the border and shut it down and stop it? No, probably not. Are you and I going to be able to go round all these people up? No, probably not. The damage has been done, unfortunately, and that's not that's not giving up. That's just stating the fact. The damage has been done. You and I need to get very seriously prepared for this. You need to be stocked up. You need to be ready to defend yourself, to protect your family, because this is happening. Now, I understand a lot of you are going to say, yeah, but if you do that, you're going to go to jail. It's possible. It's possible. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. Uh, so it is possible, especially depending on where you live. That's one other reason why I tell you all the time, you better be living in the right place, not just a place that's low crime or a place where you can grow beans and corn, but a place that has more favorable laws to people that want to defend themselves. Every time I talk about self-defense for whatever reason, someone always pipes in the comments and says, well, I'm not allowed to own that here. I'm not allowed to have that. I, I can only get restricted. Then leave, 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 leave. If you live in a place that is restricting your rights and your freedoms to be a, just a human being and protect yourself, then don't live there. But I'm telling you folks, this is getting very serious, and the news, it's its coming out more and more and more, and more and more people are waking up. More and more people are reaching out to me and to other folks like myself and saying, hey, this is happening. We, we've got we have got a bunch of people that just showed up in our small little town. I mean, you know, we have a town of 6,000 or 8 or 10 or 15 or 20, and all of a sudden we've got, you know, several van loads of people that don't speak English moving in, and now all of a sudden we have all these crime problems. This is happening everywhere. You better be protective of your family, your children, especially your daughters, your wives, your property, and and your tribe, your community, which is very important to have, especially during this time, because when these Venezuelan gangs or whoever they might be start pouring into your home or your apartment complex or wherever by the dozens, which is exactly what they were doing and have been doing in Colorado, um, you may be an expert and you may have lots of 30 round magazines and all kinds of stuff, but one person against 20 to 30 people and they're not very good odds, folks. So that's why you need to have others. You need to be preparing for this very seriously because this problem, I'm afraid it's about ready to ignite. And I'm not joking about that one. I think it's it's quite serious at this point. You need to be preparing your home, your family, and building coalitions and trust and, and, and relationships with people around you that you believe you can trust. Because who knows when this will come to your neighborhood. It may not be that much longer. It's time to get your houses in order and to prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.